הצפו, הצפו, הרו נפר, הרו נפר. Greetings, as you can see, it's a very bright, very auspicious morning. So we will be doing our all over body check-in after our shiasha, asara stance, qigong. And we're going to be doing some very sun-activated qigong today. So because I have the ability of demonstrating with the rising sun, we're going to take advantage of this very quickly. So you have the opportunity to see how we do what we do when we're out in a way that also connects you with the sun. And I'll describe how those meditations go as we move, but particularly with the Qigong. We're going to do a SAR stance facing sun as well. So you'll have to orient yourself however you do it. If you're copying me, just remember you can do all of these things in the sun and they add a different nature to them. Hopefully we're good. Then we'll go through the short form, two phases of it, because we are in the new moon phase. So we're sliding in. The new moon is scheduled to be Sunday, Monday, and it's Saturday. So we're going to get that in. Because we're together, we're going to get that in. Normally, we would wait until we were a lot closer, but this is as close as we're going to get. So we're going to do it together. Then we're going to get our wisdom from the sages of the ages, our shiasha, and our, uh, then we will disperse and return back to the rest of our day. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan? Yes, it is. Glad you're here. Let's get it in. And as always, we are going to start. Right here, Wu Shi, dead center. We're going to bow in. To all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher the student, student the teacher. I'm going to take one step to the right. So that way, as I shift the weight up on the toe and step to shoulders width. Here and pivot, we are right center. See, center, little to the little off, but we're centered. And the reason I want to be centered here is because as I deviate from the center with the weight shifting, I want you to be able to see that in real time with the visual behind us. So it's one of the reasons why we work it this way. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width, hands up, shift the weight. We're going to work that left foot, draw it in a circle, change direction, set it down, wiggle the toes, start with the big toe, one toe at a time, shift the weight, opposite foot, rotate, Change direction. Put it down here first, wiggle the toes. One toe at a time. All right. Drop the hands, we're gonna work the shoulder. To the front. On the shoulder, front, right, in the hand, take it the other direction, wiggle the fingers. One at a time. Switch hands. Rotate. Change direction. Put 
We got the fingers. One at a time. Drop that hand out. You're gonna do head and neck rotating. Full extension as you can get. Our left shoulder, taking it up and down. Looking over that right shoulder, up and down. Front center, down and up. Head around in a circle. And your next end breath, take the head around the opposite direction. And next end breath, bring it right in the front and center. Shake it out. Shake it out. It'll move us back a little bit. I need you to see me. I'm going to go from this angle because you know how the legs go. So we're going to focus in on the upper body in ways that we haven't before. So we're going to get in here and here. So you want a rounded SAR stance. Okay. So you don't want, not in here, it's here. You want the hands relaxed as we've shown before. So the hands are here. Well, you want to do this facing the sun this time as the sun is illuminating the body, as you see here. Sun's in a slightly different spot. So if I move a little forward, you can see it illuminates the whole body. So to get into a SAR stance, that's what you want to do is to be able to receive this energy. Let's go ahead and I'll explain a little bit towards the end as we move through this. Let's go ahead, let's get our breaths in.
I'm in the pyramid hands. And bring it in, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna go right in there. Keep parallel shoulders width into the car position. As you can see, it's here. Hands are aligned. Body's aligned. Two breaths. Palms to the sun, two breaths. Now we're going to shift into the do out position, right? So the hands are here. We're going to step back and shift. And then we go into what we normally go into, which is swinging arms, right? All right, we're going to let them swing. We're just doing a few so you can get the understanding because I want to. Spend a few minutes talking about this. Keep the feet parallel, shoulders width, shake it out. Now we're going to expand the chest, stretch the back. This is where we're going to do a little visualization and meditation. So you're going to come down, get into it. Now it's going to full extension to the height of shoulders. You separate. Arch back. As you arch back, you want to see the sun and the sunlight activate, connect with your heart. Feel the chest cavity. And you exhale, coming back and down. And we do it five times. So you want to see the sun. Activate, connect with the heart. Expand, filling the chest cavity. Again, that expansion and reception. Okay, now, this is number four. This is our last one. And again, what you want to remember is you expand to the shoulder blades touch, then you bring the head back, and then if you can, you come back a little. You come forward and down. We shake it out opposites. Got it? And now, what we're looking to do in this section is hugely important because this is a variation on what you see in the temples of Kemet when the sun comes over. Now, you can see this during the 18th dynasty, the things that are done with Akhenaten, okay? Or Akhenaten, where life is through the revealed. So the sun energy comes down and you'll see it giving an onk at the mouth or at the hands of the people. And the people are in the dua position, which is the receptive position, the grateful, thankful position. And energy comes to the hands where it's absorbed and received. So that's what we're doing in the dua position here. The ka position here, we're actually energizing the body receiving the energy coming down in. That's why the hands here, this is a receptive position. Coming down. And we move into the, one of the immune boosting systems, which is swinging arms, while we're getting an immune boost directly from the sun. Then we get into the blood pressure balancing, but also life affirming, because we're activating the heart and the chest cavity with the sun. So what you may not understand is the sun, excuse me, the heart is your body's sun. That which is always pumping and moving and giving so that for this body to survive, this heart has to keep pumping. And for all life on earth to happen, the sun must continue to shine while the earth rotates. 
All right. So there's more, but those are the basics that I wanted you to get and grasp from this in terms of we don't always have the opportunity of having the sun and the good fortune of how the earth rotates on its axis is sometimes we get the sun during our class time directly. So now we're going to get into Wuchi and we're going to do first the lunar cycle and then we'll do the short form. So here we go. Excuse me, yes. All right, shake it out of that lunar cycle. Now, Uchi, we get into the short form. All right, grab a seat. So quickly, while the sun is here, I want to just review those positions where we're in the sun very quickly and briefly. So the car position, shoulders relaxed, hands relaxed, right here at 90 degrees at the shoulders. Okay, do your best. So again, if you're here, because again, we got to go with where your body is. All right. So the goal is to get it here. And then palms facing forward. And then we shift and we move into the do opposition. Here. Front of the heart, front of the forehead. Okay. Then we will go into swinging arms. We open the chest, right? Shoulder blades touch. Then you arch. Sun comes down. You can already see the sun hitting the heart. Sun coming, hitting the heart. Illuminating. You want to visualize it, illuminating and filling the whole chest cavity with light. And we do that five times. Got it? Good. Moving forward here. 
for our wisdom from the sages of the ages. All right. Today, we're going to start with the prophet, a little different. <laughs> this will be a good one, the prophet. So as an old priest said, speak to us of religion. And the prophet said, have I spoken this day of anything else? Is not religion all deeds and all reflection? And that which is neither deed nor reflection, but a wonder and a surprise ever springing in the soul, even while the hands hew the stone or tend the loom? Who can separate their faith from their actions or their belief from their occupations? Who can spread their hours before them saying, this is for God, this is for me, this is for my soul, and this is for my other body. All your hours are wings that beat through space from self to self. One who wears their morality, but as their best garment, were better naked. The wind and the sun will tear no holes in his skin. And the one that defines their conduct by ethics imprisons their songbird in the cage. The freest song comes not through bars and wires. And one to whom worshiping is a window to open, but also to shed, has not yet visited the house of his soul where windows are from dawn to dawn. Your daily life is your temple and your religion. Whenever you enter it, take with you your all. Take the plow and the forge and the mallet and the lute, the things you have fashioned in necessity or for delight. For in reverie, you cannot rise above your achievements nor fall lower than your failures. And take with you everyone. For in adoration, you cannot fly higher than their hopes nor humble yourself lower than their despair. And if you would know God, be not therefore a solver of riddles. <laughs> Rather look about you and you shall see God playing with your children. And look into space. You shall see God walking in the cloud, outstretching their arms in the lightning and descending in rain. And you shall see God smiling in flowers, then rising and waving their hands in trees. The essence of Tai Chi, the literary tradition. All right, this is from The Five Character Secrets by Lee E. Yu, Internal Force. The internal force of the whole body through practice becomes, well, the force of the whole body through practice becomes one unit. Distinguish clearly between substantial and insubstantial. To discharge energy, it is necessary to have root. The force starts from the foot, is commanded by the waist and manifests in the fingers and discharged through the spine and back. One must completely raise the spirit, pay attention at the moment when the opponent's force is just about to manifest, but has not yet been released. My force has already met theirs, not late, not early. It's like using a leather tender to start a fire, like a fountain gushing forth. And going forward or stepping back, there's not even the slightest disorder. In the curve, seek the straight, store, then discharge. Then you are able to follow your hands and achieve a beneficial result. This is called borrowing force to strike the opponent or using four ounces to deflect a thousand pounds. Okay. All right, here we go. The teachings of Patahacha. That was the ending. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do not disturb a great person or distract their attention when they are occupied trying to understand their task. When they are thus occupied, they strip their body through the love of what they do. Love for the work which they do brings people closer to God. These are the people who succeed in what they do. And 
the Tao Te Ching, the mystic charm. One who is profoundly endowed with virtue may be compared to an infant. Poisonous insects do not sting them. Wild beasts do not seize hold of them. Birds of prey do not pounce upon them. Weak in bone and soft in sinews, they yet have a firm grip. Though ignorant of intercourse, their genital organs are firm and strong, indicating the plenitude of their vital essences. They may scream all day, yet their voice does not become hoarse, indicating the plenitude of their inner harmony. To know harmony is to accord with the immutable. To accord with the immutable means enlightenment. Improvement in health is a good omen. Mental control of the breath means strength. Things begin to decay after reaching the prime. Decay indicates disregard of Tao. Whatever disregards Tao soon vanishes. All right. And with that, we have completed our wisdom from the sages of the ages time together today. Let us bow out. We say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Ashe. Blessings to the ancestors and homage to the eternal witnesses of the earth and sky. I bid you, Hatep, Herunafer, Ank Uja Seneb, Amenre Nasutnichir, Atenre Neb, and Ank. Hatepu, see you soon. Remember, like, share, subscribe. We also love your comments. If you have any, check it out. We'll see you soon in the ethers or in real person. Enjoy. That's a cool.